Looks like sand has been pumping for the last 24 hours and we're still going up. What's gonna happen to the future of this project, of this crypto? Let's check it out. Guys, smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome crypto videos. Right now, we're on TradeView. We can check out how much actually sand that go up in the last couple of days here. So basically, let's say from the 15th of November to where we are right now, we did go up by 177%. If we do check up all the way here to the top, we actually did a uh, 3x here, which is absolutely awesome. But can we continue to go up or are we going to start to stabilize right now? Like what's going to happen here to Sandbox? That is the real question. So the first thing we're, we're, I can see here is that uh, a little bit, it's not a little bit, but it's a lot bullish is that we made a bullish cross. We made this golden bullish cross here, which just indicates that for some time now, we are going to be pretty much bullish. Look at this. The last time we were bullish, we made this uh, bullish cross. Uh, basically, sand got up from this level all the way to here. So about an 80 to 100% increase. So 100% increase. And then after that, we started to stabilize downwards. We did drop below. And now we're again pumping up but most of these coins are similar to to sand are actually going up like mana is going up also gall games has been going up so these like game game tokens are going up which is really really interesting right now but like i said can we continue to go up or you gotta check it out first if you look at the rsi the rsi right now is overbought like we are up at the one day chart basically 85 points is a lot because look at this uh, when people started to buy, it was all the way here low to 33 points. So right now, 85 is really, or like even 88, is really, really high up. So we need to start to stabilize if we want this RSI to actually come down slowly. But if we do zoom in here at the 4-hour chart, it's a little bit of a different story. At the 4-hour chart, we're already here at 74, but that means we're still overbought. But look at this, people still try to buy even more. So at this level... Like right over here, we were super overbought. We made a correction. We started to start start to stabilize, and then again, people started to pump the coin. And now again, we're doing the same thing where we are stabilizing. And you can see here that we are forming like we form like two flags already. So this is the first flag. This is the second flag. It's probably gonna be a third flag. Mostly, what when this happens, when these kinds of same increases happens. People like to buy them in thirds, like these kinds of pumps happen in thirds, sometimes even four times, like massive, massive flags you're happening. And we have to check this out in a minute here. I just want to place the flags, but we are trying to go up here. We're trying to hit some new all time highs. We're going to see pretty soon how much more up we can go. But for now, in the short term, let me just measure this. So. Basically, if we just place a bullion, place this place, if we place this here, uh, at 0 0.97, so that's our next target, so 0 0.97 cents. If we do measure that from where we are right now to uh, that target, it's about a 28 to 29% increase. And this is only if we are bullish, only if people want to buy more. So the first question is why is Sand even going up? Like, well, why are old coins going up? It's of course because of Bitcoin. Now we're having like a correction, but that's normal. But most of what happens here is that when Bitcoin stabilizes, people like to invest into altcoins. And now the Bitcoin is stabilizing, but it's kind of dropping here. It's not too big of a problem, but still, people are heavily invested into altcoins right now. People, most big altcoins are going up. We can just check this out right now. We can see a couple of them stabilizing, but now it looks like it's the it's the gaming tokens that are actually going up. So yeah, game, gamify tokens are going up, and I believe the sand has a lot of room here for growth. Now, the biggest problem here with sand is actually if we zoom out totally to like a one uh, one day chart, like a one week chart, we can see that the, the previous all time high is really far away. So the previous all time high was all the way here to eight point four dollars. So that's a long way to go if we want to see sand to actually reach those numbers. Let's measure the increase. How much do we actually need? If we measure from here to the top here, basically we need to do yeah, 1,000% increase. So 
a lot of volume, a lot of money needs to go back into sand if you want to see something like this happening. So for now, stabilization is key and we can then slowly start to go up again. Look at this previous, in the previous bull cycle. This is, this is one day. So just in, uh, let me just measure this. So from this low to this high in seven days, it increased by 350%. And then after that, again, look at this. So from here to here, this massive increase, this all happened in just 12 days. So most of this increase just came in one single month. If we measure from here to here, yeah, 30 days, 30 days to just reach to do 1,150 uh, percent increase. So, can sand do this again? We have to. We have to see. Uh, last time, these coins were so totally in hype. They dominated the market, and they were extremely bullish. Now we have a couple of different trends that are actually going up, and because of that, we have to be patient. Most massive altcoins are not even close to their previous bull run uh, values, all-time highs. Actually, we can check it out here. Crow. Crow, still massively super far away. We got Cardano, still long way to go. Cardano's getting there, but long way to go. Most massive cryptos still have seriously a, a long way to go. Solana's the only contender here that's actually making new all time highs. Like Solana's actually making new all time highs, but that's because Solana won the meme coin game and everybody's making meme coins on Solana and different coins. And there's just a lot of volume in Solana. That's why they bought, they won the meme coin game. But Sand actually has massive use cases. We have a whole sandbox video game where people can actually play. It can have like millions and millions of players, and like companies can massively invest into sandbox. That's the whole point. So just that means that Sand has a lot of potential to actually go up. But for now, stabilization. Like I said, it's not something that's gonna happen pretty quickly. Last time it all happened in a month, but all depends again on the crypto market. Right now, Bitcoin is still dominating. Like people are just waiting for Bitcoin to hit 100k, and probably after that, we're gonna see the altcoin run. We're gonna see massive altcoins, massive altcoins going just up, doing like five axes, maybe even it's like 10 axes. But like I said, for now, stabilization slowly go up and then increasing to even bigger prices. Sand in the short term, like I said, can hit this number. So maybe even to maybe like 24 hours, 48 hours, that could happen. We are overbought, already did go up. So that means like we don't have a lot of room for growth because of the market, because the market, the whole market right now is pretty much unstable. But we still have the possibility to go up. Like there are still still a lot of chances here that sand can increase and actually reach some pretty good numbers. So we, did we hit, did we get past this high? Let me just check this out. Yeah, we actually got rejected right over here in this, this high. That's why we got rejected. Look at this. So we hit the previous high here that happened all the way here on March of this year. And that's why it's a key resistance area. And we actually got, uh, yeah, we actually got rejected. We're, now we're trying to stabilize and we're trying to go up pretty soon. We're going to see if we can break the top side. If we can, awesome, nice increase. But if we don't, we're going to go back here to these levels. And we're going to start to stabilize probably here from 0 0.6 to 0 0.66. And then stabilize here to the sideways. Again, a lot of room here for growth. But we have to be patient here for sand. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.